unveiling the mystical journey. The War of Gog and Magog and the Path to Messianic Redemption In the tapestry of Jewish thought and eschatology, the concept of the ultimate confrontation, known as the War of Gog and Magog, occupies a central place, transcending the superficial interpretations of geopolitical conflicts. This confrontation is not a mere clash of nations, as might be construed in the context of global superpowers such as America and Russia. Rather, it is a profound spiritual battle, symbolizing the culmination of a historical process that leads to the realization of a divinely ordained destiny for the Jewish people and the world at large. The essence of this conflict mirrors the biblical struggle between Pharaoh and the Israelites, serving as a metaphor for the ultimate redemption. This battle is not against the nations in a physical sense, but represents a spiritual upheaval. It heralds the end of an era dominated by non-Jewish powers and the dawn of a new epoch characterized by Jewish ascendancy. This paradigm shift is sensed by the nations themselves, who have long been accustomed to a position of dominance. Delving into the depths of the Talmud, we encounter a discourse on the potential outcomes of this eschatological war. The sages present two narratives concerning the fate of the Messiah in this context. In one narrative, the Messiah, despite successfully redeeming the Jewish people and leading them back to the land of Israel, is foretold to suffer defeat and death, followed by a second exile. This seemingly paradoxical outcome does not diminish the Messiah's legitimacy, but rather underscores his role as a true redeemer. His defeat is interpreted as an atonement for the collective sins of the past, notably those associated with the Ten Tribes and Jeroboam Yeravam. Yet within the mystical tradition of Kabbalah, this prophecy has been reinterpreted. Many Kabbalists hold that the decree concerning the Messiah's defeat has been annulled. This transformation in the prophetic vision is attributed to various factors, including the unparalleled merit of Moses. Moses' selfless acts, culminating in his death outside the land of Israel and burial in an unknown location, have profound implications for the destiny of the Messiah and the Jewish people. Through Moses' sacrifice, a more hopeful trajectory for the final redemption has been charted. The figure of Yosef HaSadik, known as Joseph the Righteous, is pivotal in the narrative of Jewish history and eschatology. Yosef embodies the archetype of suffering and redemption, his life a microcosm of the Jewish people's exile and ultimate deliverance. The Zohar, the primary text of Kabbalistic wisdom, elucidates the deep, mystical connections between Yosef and the Messiah. It is taught that Yosef represents the aspect of Messiah ben Yosef, the precursor to Messiah ben David. The former is tasked with preparing the world for the final redemption, engaging in the spiritual battles that precede the ultimate peace and harmony envisioned by the prophets. Messiah ben Yosef's role is multifaceted, encompassing both the struggle against external adversaries and the internal purification of the Jewish people. His mission is to galvanize the forces of holiness, to lay the groundwork for the era of Messiah ben David, when divine wisdom and understanding will permeate the world. The trials and tribulations faced by Yosef, from his sale into slavery to his rise to power in Egypt, mirror the challenges that Messiah ben Yosef will confront in his quest to pave the way for the final redemption. The teachings of our sages further elaborate on the significance of Yosef's experiences as a foreshadowing of the end times. The Midrash comments on Yosef's ability to interpret dreams, seeing in this the capacity to reveal the hidden truths of Torah and to illuminate the path toward redemption. Yosef's success in Egypt, moreover, signifies the potential for spiritual elevation, even within the depths of exile, a beacon of hope for the Jewish people throughout the ages. In the battle against Gog and Magog, the figure of Messiah ben Yosef emerges as a warrior of light, confronting the forces of darkness that seek to obstruct the divine plan. His sacrifice, akin to that of Yosef, who endured suffering for the sake of his brothers, is a catalyst for the ultimate victory of good over evil. This sacrifice is not in vain, but is a necessary step in the unfolding of Hashem's blueprint for creation, leading to the era of Messiah ben David, when the world will be filled with the knowledge of Hashem as the waters cover the sea. 
this exploration into the war of Gog and Magog reveals the depth and complexity of Jewish eschatological thought. It transcends a literalist reading of geopolitical events, directing us towards a deeper understanding of the spiritual and messianic dimensions underlying this ultimate confrontation. The narrative invites us to reflect on the role of individual and collective atonement, the transformative power of righteousness, and the eternal promise of redemption. It beckons us to engage with the profound theological and mystical teachings that illuminate the path towards a future marked by divine harmony and spiritual fulfillment. In the rich tapestry of Jewish thought and eschatology, the discussion of Messiah occupies a central and deeply revered place. This figure, rooted in the deepest hopes and spiritual yearnings of the Jewish people, represents not merely the fulfillment of ancient prophecies, but the embodiment of the ultimate redemption of the world. To unravel the layers of understanding surrounding the mission of Messiah, we turn to the luminous teachings of Rambam, whose insights serve as guiding beacons in the vast sea of Torah scholarship. Rambam, a towering figure in Jewish law, philosophy, and medicine, culminates his magnum opus, the Mishneh Torah, with a profound exposition on the laws and expectations surrounding Messiah. His words in the 11th chapter of the laws of kings and wars are not merely academic, they are imbued with the weight of millennia, a golden thread in the fabric of Jewish destiny. Rambam delineates the criteria for recognizing Messiah with precision and reverence, a king arising from the house of David, steeped in Torah and mitzvot, echoing the piety of his forebear David. This individual's adherence to both the written and oral Torah is non-negotiable, for the oral Torah is the heartbeat of Jewish life, the divine wisdom passed down from Sinai intertwined with the text of the written Torah. The mission of Messiah, as outlined by Rambam, is multifaceted and profound. He is to be a beacon of Torah, inspiring both the Jewish people and all humanity to walk in its ways. His task is not only to mend the breaches in observance, but to engage in the spiritual warfare of Hashem, primarily through the power of prayer. This aspect of Messiah's mission highlights the transformative power of tefillah, capable of altering the very fabric of reality and bringing about redemption. A pivotal element of Messiah's mission is the rebuilding of the Third Temple in Jerusalem, a symbol of divine presence and unity, and the ingathering of the exiles from the four corners of the earth. This monumental task underlines the physical and spiritual restoration of Israel, a sign of the dawn of redemption. The debate over whether the temple will be constructed by human hands or descend from heaven encapsulates the mystery and divine orchestration of the messianic era. Yet, beyond this, the emphasis lies in the act of rebuilding itself, which symbolizes the collective effort of the Jewish people in preparing the world for a state of holiness and divine service. Moreover, the concept of Messiah as a poor man riding on a donkey as depicted in the prophetic texts embodies a profound lesson in humility and leadership. This imagery contrasts sharply with the ostentatious displays of power often associated with worldly rulers. It teaches us that the true essence of leadership in the eyes of Hashem is not found in power or wealth, but in humility, righteousness, and the dedication to serve one's people and God. It is through this lens that we should view the leadership of Messiah as one who leads not by coercion but by example, inspiring a voluntary return to Torah and mitzvot among the Jewish people and all of humanity. The role of Messiah ben Yosef, particularly as a precursor to Messiah ben David, highlights the theme of self-sacrifice and the purification process necessary for redemption. Just as Yosef HaSadik endured suffering for the sake of his brothers and ultimately emerged as a savior, Messiah ben Yosef's mission involves enduring hardships for the collective good, preparing the world for the era of Messiah ben David. This narrative teaches us about the transformative power of suffering when it is born with faith and the recognition that every challenge we face is a step towards a greater divine purpose. In this journey towards redemption, the teachings of the Torah and the insights of our sages serve as beacons of light, guiding us through the darkness of exile towards the dawn of the messianic era. They remind us that the path to redemption is paved with acts of kindness, justice, and unwavering faith in Hashem's promise. 
Each mitzvah we perform, each act of learning Torah, and each prayer we utter contributes to the hastening of this era. It is a collective endeavor that requires the participation of every Jew, each in their unique way, contributing to the ultimate transformation of the world. This understanding compels us to view the events of our times and the challenges we face in a new light. It teaches us to look beyond the immediate trials and to see them as part of a larger, divine plan that is unfolding. It inspires us to act with greater purpose to strengthen our commitment to Torah and mitzvot and to deepen our connection with Hashem and our fellow Jews. For it is through these actions that we become active participants in bringing about the redemption. As we stand at the precipice of this new era, our hearts filled with anticipation for the coming of Messiah, let us remember the words of our sages, who teach us that Messiah's arrival is not merely an event to be awaited, but a reality to be actively brought about through our deeds. Let us therefore engage in acts of loving kindness, deepen our study of Torah, and strengthen our faith and trust in Hashem. For in doing so, we not only prepare ourselves and the world for the coming of Messiah, but also embody the divine attributes of compassion, justice, and righteousness that will define the era of redemption. In this spirit, let us approach each day with renewed vigor and purpose, inspired by the profound teachings and insights of our rich tradition. May our collective efforts merit us to witness the fulfillment of the prophecies, the rebuilding of the temple, and the ushering in of an era of peace and divine presence. And may we do so with the humility, faith, and perseverance that characterize the Jewish people, guided by the eternal wisdom of the Torah and the unwavering love of Hashem. As we contemplate these deep and timeless concepts, let us carry forward the light of Torah and the hope for redemption into every aspect of our lives, illuminating the path for ourselves and for the world towards the dawn of a new era marked by peace, harmony, and divine blessing. In light of the teachings and reflections shared, may it be the will of Hashem that each reader is blessed with the strength, wisdom, and courage to navigate the paths of life with faith and determination. May you be inscribed and sealed for a year of health, prosperity, and peace. And may we all merit to see the days of Messiah speedily in our times. May the light of Torah guide you, the love of Hashem envelop you. And may you be a beacon of kindness and righteousness in the world. And together, let us move forward, hand in hand, towards a future filled with the promise of redemption and divine harmony.